You can use contacts as a clever way of toggling objects on your avatar, such as grabbing a prop off your avatar's back or side. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can do this yourself, demonstrated by grabbing a prop off an avatar's hips. Before we start, it's important to know a decent bit about standard avatar toggles using SDK3. I'll have a video linked in the description if you'd like to learn more about this. We'll start by adding our prop to the root of the avatar, and scaling it to a size we want. We're going to make use of parent constraints to be able to change the transform this prop is weighted to in animations. We'll then create an empty game object under each bone we want this prop to be constrained to. In my case, I'll make one under the hips, and one under the right hand. Next, on your prop, add a parent constraint component. Add two new sources, and drag in the game objects you created. Set one of the sources to 0, and leave the other at 1. Then press 0 to set the prop's transform to the currently active constraint. From here, adjust the position and rotation of the constraint as you see fit. Then, repeat the same process for the other source. On the constraint you'll be grabbing the prop from, add a contact receiver component. Adjust the shape the way you want, and disable Allow Others. Then, under Collision Tags, add the tag for the hand you'll be grabbing the prop with. If you plan on requiring a hand gesture to grab the prop, set the receiver type to constant. If you want to just have to touch the contact, set it to on enter. Then enter a parameter name. We'll now enter play mode to create our animations. On the avatar, create a new animation and press the record button. On the constraint component, set one of the sources to 1 and the other to 0. Then, create another animation, doing this the other way around. Once you're done animating, exit play mode. Next, we'll enter our avatar's FX controller. We'll first create a few parameters. First, add the parameter used for your contact receiver. Typically, this will be a bool. Then, create another bool parameter, which we'll use for toggling the prop. Under Layers, create two new layers and set their weights to 1. One of them will be for the prop toggle, and one of them will be for the contact receiver. Under the prop toggle layer, drag in the constraint animations you made and set them up as you would for a standard toggle using the bool parameter you created, like so. In my case, when false, the prop will be on the hip. When true, it will be in the hand. Under the prop contact layer, we're going to make use of parameter drivers to change the value of the prop toggle parameter whenever the contact is interacted with. Create three new states. The default state will be what plays when the contact receiver is not being touched. The other two states will be for changing the value of the prop toggle parameter depending on if the prop is currently in hand or on the hip. On the hand state, we'll add a parameter driver component. We'll set the destination parameter to the one used for your prop toggle and set the value to true. For the hip state, we'll do the same thing but set the value to false. Create a transition from the default state to the hand state, with the conditions being your contact parameter equaling true, and the prop toggle parameter equaling false. Then, create another transition back to the default state. Do the same for the hip state, but with the prop toggle parameter equaling true. If you want a hand gesture to be required to activate the contact, Add the gesture right or gesture left integer parameters into the transitions toward the parameter drivers. In my case, I'll add gesture right equals 1 on the transition to hand, and gesture right not equal 1 on the transition to hip. This will make it so my right hand will need to be in a fist to grab the prop, 
and any other right hand gesture will let it be put back. And that's it. Optionally, if you want to ensure this contact toggle syncs reliably, set it up in your avatar expression parameters and turn on the is local option on the contact receiver. You can also add the toggle parameter to your avatar's expression menu if you want the option to toggle it in the action menu as well. Beyond that, you can go ahead and upload your avatar. Hopefully this video helps some of you better understand contact receivers. If you're stuck, you can join my Discord server linked down below, where people will be glad to help you out. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.